Hi, my name is Mylon Lefevre, and music is in my blood. I got my first big break when Elvis Presley recorded a song I'd written at 17 years old. That moment changed my life forever. I went from having nothing to having my dreams come true. I toured the world and played with some of the biggest names in music and had more money than I knew what to do with. I finally hit rock bottom when I almost died from a drug overdose, and it became painfully obvious something had to change. Everything did change when I gave my life to Jesus at a second chapter of Acts concert in 1980. God instantly delivered me from drugs and totally turned my life around. I began to use my gift of music for the Lord and started a Christian band, Mylon and Broken Heart. It eventually grew to be one of the biggest Christian rock bands in the world at the time. We won several Grammys and Dove Awards, but most importantly, we led over 200,000 kids to Christ. Now, years later, I'm still living for Jesus, and my wife, Christy, and I travel the globe proclaiming God's goodness. I've been from rock bottom to the mountaintop, and I'm going all the way to heaven, so come on and join me on the road to freedom. Again in Monument Valley, this magnificent Gorgeous. Monument Valley, Gorgeous. Utah. Oh. It is outrageously okay. wonderful. I mean, you talk about beauty that yeah. God has created. I know we're talking about big rocks, but you know, we are made out of dust. And look at this beautiful thing, right? Yeah. Come on, oh. somebody. <laughs> Preaching good, man. Anyway, we are sharing information this week on the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Last week, mm -hmm. we taught on love. love. Mm -hmm. And this week we'll be talking about joy, yeah, unspeakable amen. and full of glory. And it is real. It is. God fun. wants us to enjoy, enjoy being Christians. Yes. He mm -hmm. wants us to enjoy His presence. He wants us to enjoy each other. Mm -hmm. He wants us to enjoy the beauty of His creation. Yeah. Every day we've taken you on this trip to a different place that looks completely unique unto itself. And we couldn't show you a thousand things that we saw that are just magnificent. The little creek that calls that gigantic yeah. valley mm -hmm. and the little river that started out and, 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 and carved the Grand Canyon. I mean, yeah. my, my, my. Yes, You know, Jesus said, I have come that you may have and enjoy your life. Come on. Have it to the full till it overflows. It. So Jesus wants you to enjoy serving him. By the way, I, I so yeah. enjoy being your husband. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it says in Galatians 5 and verse 22, but the fruit of the Holy Spirit's work, the mm. work which His presence within us accomplishes. accomplishes. This is the yeah. Amplified Version to help us understand. The work which His presence within us, remember when you get born again, mm. God comes, Jesus comes by His Spirit, and lives within you and your body becomes mm -hmm. the temple of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And this is the fruit that the Holy Spirit produces if we let him. He doesn't force it on us. Yeah. He doesn't take our temper away from us or our anger away from us. Mm -hmm. But if we submit to him and trust God and do what he says, then he will produce in us love, joy. That's where we are today. Peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Self -control, yeah. And who wouldn't want their husband or their wife or their parents or their children mm -hmm. or their brothers or sisters or their boss yeah. to have that, man, that'd make your life better. Yes. It? And by the way, if you didn't get to see love last week or at any point in this uh, teaching, you want right. to see the other yeah. versions, mm -hmm. you just go to Mylon, www.mylon.com dot org mm -hmm. and they're all there and available for you and this is number two in the fruit of the holy spirit romans 14 verse 17 says for the kingdom of god is not eating and drinking but it is righteousness peace and, and joy, joy in the holy spirit yeah in other good. words if you're not enjoying being a christian you've lost a third of the kingdom of god Wow. The kingdom of yeah. God comes down to three things. It's mm -hmm. not what kind of house you got. It's not how new your motorcycle is right. or how mm -hmm. many shoes you got in the closet. Mm -hmm. It is righteousness. That is the gift of God, by the way. You can't earn righteousness, and we don't know how to be righteous. But when you invited Jesus into your heart, he cleansed you from all unrighteousness. And he that knew no sin 
became sin. Jesus took on the sins of the world, ours, so that we could be made the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. So righteousness is a gift, but peace and joy in the Holy Spirit, that's the kingdom of God, people. Mm -hmm. So this is super, super important. Nehemiah 8 and verse 10 says, do not be grieved. You know what grief is, grief and sorrow. You know, you get disappointed, you, something's going on, you laugh and you're really mm -hmm. praying and you're hoping and, you, and you're trying to believe if you don't know how and you're working toward it and then something goes wrong and, and you didn't see it coming and it just, yeah. or, or somebody you love dies and, and passes on and, and you didn't see that coming or, or all of a sudden you're dealing with sickness and disease. Mm -hmm. Grief, if you're not careful, can steal all your joy. Yeah. When yeah. Moses died, God told Israel to grieve for 30 days. And at the end of 30 days, he told them, now no more grief and no more sorrow. Get back to the joy of the Lord. In other words, he had them at the end of 30 days to have a big feast, a big party, basically, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and start celebrating, okay, Moses is in heaven now, yeah. but we're still here to live. Yes. We still got to concentrate now on training our children right. Mm -hmm. We still got to concentrate on being a good husband and a good wife, et cetera, et cetera. In other yeah. words, it's, it's normal to grieve certain times. My mom passed. I had to grieve. My dad is in heaven, mm -hmm. my brother and sister. And I, by the way, I had to stand at the pulpit in front of thousands of people and minister. Oh, death, where is thy sting? When, you're, when your mom is right there in front of you in a casket, and a lot of you kin folks are sitting there crying on the first row, that's not easy. You have to do these things by faith. Yeah. As God said, do not be grieved. That's not a suggestion. That's good. For the joy of, of the, the Lord, Lord is, your, is strength. your strength. Amen. God wants you to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Psalm 16 and verse 11 in the Amplified says, You'll show me the path of life, for in your presence is fullness, fullness of joy. Fullness of joy. Ooh, yes, I'm yes right. Sad. Hit me, man. <laughs> and at your right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. forevermore. Praise God, man. <laughs> We have some it's, we have some people behind us. Uh, do, some we fun. have some workers. Oh man, it's it's Michael We're and Michael Sherry, and Sherry Helm. Yeah, this is a perfect example, people. I mean, we love our friends. We yes, enjoy we do. being we silly. Do. We're grown people. That's right. I'm seventy three years old, but we have so much fun. Doing what? Whatever God calls us to do, right? Yeah, right. amen. I mean, it's being silly, yeah. that's right. <laughs> being silly? I mean, you got anything you want to share? No, you're doing great. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't hear you. We just stopped by to tell y'all, this is amazing. Oh, cool. Good job, y'all. Good, we're having a good time. No, no not, not at all. No, awesome. we, we love y'all. <laughs> Pleasures forevermore at the right hand and in the presence of God. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read that again. Yes. By the way, thanks, guys. I needed that. That was, that was perfect. awesome. Psalm 16. I want you to understand now, this is not something some preacher said. I'm not trying to convince you of this. Mm -hmm. God said this. God loves you. Yeah. He's wanting you to understand how important this is. Mm -hmm. You will show me the path of life. Mm -hmm. David's talking about. God will show us. In your presence is fullness of joy. Of joy. Let me tell you something yeah. about that. You cannot be depressed in the presence of God. Right. It's impossible. So good. If you live in the secret place of the Most High God, and that's where you go every morning when you wake up, that's the first thing we do. We mm -hmm. enter the presence of God. We start praising Him and worshiping. Yeah. We don't feel like it. You wake up in the morning, you got bad breath, you, and sometimes you got a headache, and before you can brush it, before you can do anything, man, get that coffee down. Thank you, Jesus, yeah. for a good night's sleep. Thank mm -hmm. you that your grace is sufficient. Thank yeah. you for our friends and loved ones. That's Thank good. you for protecting, yeah. and delivering, and healing. At your right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Now, in Isaiah 61 and verse 1 mm -hmm. through 3, I want to read you these three verses because, man, mm -hmm. this is good stuff. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because He has anointed me and qualified me to preach the gospel of good tidings to the poor, he has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those who are bound. Yes. And to proclaim 
the acceptable year of the Lord, the year of God's favor. Oh, that's good, the year of God's favor. By the way, that's this year, y'all. Yeah, amen. And the day amen. of vengeance of our God to comfort all who mourn, to grant consolation and joy to those who mourn in Zion, to mm. give them an ornament of beauty, beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy, joy. Yes. instead of mourning. That's good. The garment of praise instead of a heavy burdened and failing spirit. So I don't know what's going on in your life, but I can tell you that I believe with all my heart the anointing of the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He's anointed me to teach, preach the gospel, mm -hmm. to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of prison. If, if you're in bondage to anything, I believe God wants to set you free today. Yes, in amen. In Jesus' name. Yes. To grant you comfort if you're mourning and to give you beauty instead of ashes, yes, joy yes. instead of mourning. That's good, honey. Now, I'm going to ask you to read this, my love, because this is so good. I want, I want them to get this, my darling. Well, in Romans 15, 13, it says, May the God of your hope so fill you with all joy and peace in believing. Yeah so that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you may abound and be overflowing with hope. So I wanna encourage you that joy and peace are found in believing. The good news is, is if you've lost your joy in, in peace today, you just need to get back in faith. That's it. You need to get back to believe in God. That's it. Amen. And this next verse deals with exactly that, man. This is how to get back in faith. Galatians says that the people of faith are blessed and they're made happy. Come on. And they're favored by God. So That's people right. of faith are happy people. That's right. Amen. That's right. Oh, Amen. look, we got some guests. Uh -oh. All right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you. I, I this is Robin and Sylvia. The most Wirtz. phenomenal <laughs> IT and, and engineer and sound guy. And couples, we made yes. records how many years ago? 25 probably, yeah. The Robster yeah. is my man, people. I'm telling you, there's nobody better. Yeah. Rob and Sylvia Wirtz, yes. precious, precious friends of God. Amen. In fact, that was Sylvia talking to me earlier about yeah. joy, the yeah, joy of amen. the Lord and, and how mm -hmm. that this is beauty. Sure, what we're seeing out here and what we're trying to bring to you mm -hmm. with all these 4K drones and all these cool cameras <laughs> and, and GoPros and, you know, we're going to be underwater people. We're going to be coming down the mountain skiing backwards. <laughs> Michael amen. can ski backwards that dude can film <laughs> he oh, can, man. That's anyway, right. we're going to come from underwater there's no <laughs> telling where we're going to be but what she said to me that touched my heart she said if if we see so much beauty in just the valley of the gods or monument valley mm -hmm. or grand canyon or something how much more god when he recreates a human being Mm. And we knew that person yeah. before. Yeah. The, the, the people who knew me, my daughter knew me as an unsaved father. And now she knows me mm. as her father in Christ. Yeah. Man, what beauty happens when the Holy Spirit we comes to so. live. Yeah, you man. are beautiful too, Miss Sylvia. Yeah, Sylvia. she is. And I Amen. love being your brother in the Lord. <laughs> I love we you love y'all. Thanks for coming yeah. hanging out.
If you've been following my ministry for very long, then you already know Michael Howell and his wife, Sherry. They've been partners with us in ministry for so many years. We've made records together, probably 20, 25 years. Yeah. Uh, Rob, our, our sound guy here, uh, Matthew and Mary, there, there's so many guys that you would know. But I asked Michael to step in here for a second because not only do we work together making music or making, we made a five year devotional um, church on the run together. We've done all kind of stuff all over the world together. But I asked Michael to come in and join me because I partner with his ministry because they do things that I can't do. And he partners with my ministry. He sows his finances in our ministry and helps us to do what we're known to do and vice versa. You want to share something sure. about well, how that works? For me, it's it's just the reality that we need each other in the body of Christ. You no know, one ministry or one minister or one person is anointed to do it all. We all have our place and our gifting and our part to do in the kingdom. And so when I sow into you, there's an anointing that's on your life that I partake of. And when you yeah. sow into me, vice versa. Exactly. Um, and we also reap the financial benefit. And so, exactly. Um, in short, we need each other. We need and, each uh, other and we need you. We need your help just like you need ours. If you want to help us to take a whole bunch of people to heaven when we go, then all you got to do is go to mylon.org, M-Y-L-O-N.org, click on Team Mylon, fill that out, become our partner, and we will believe God with you for supernatural increase in your life. God said it, we believe it, and we expect it, and we'll be praying for you, you'll be praying for us, and you and me will take a whole bunch of people to heaven with us when we go, and God will bless you for it. Joy. Joy. We're talking yes. about how much we enjoy our friends. We yes. enjoy working together. Serving we enjoy God. the Lord. Acts 20 and verse 24 says, But none of these things move me, neither do I esteem myself dear to myself, if only I may finish my course with, with joy, joy. And the That's ministry so which I've obtained from the Lord Jesus, mm -hmm. faithfully to attest the good, good news, news, the yeah. gospel of God's grace. Mm -hmm. Nothing moves me except my faith in the Son of God yeah. to do what His Word tells me to do. Amen? Amen. God doesn't want you just to finish. He doesn't want you just to survive and finish your course. He said, finish your course with joy. Yeah. Again, He wants you to enjoy serving Him. All the way Amen. to the end. Yeah, All the way until it. you get to heaven. As you grow up in love and you grow up in the Lord, it should get easier and easier to produce this fruit mm -hmm. and, and therefore make a better life for yourself. Psalm 34 and verse 1 through 4 says, I will bless the Lord at all, at all times. times. Now, listen to me, people. God has given you a will. Yeah. God has given you your will. He will not violate your will. You can be as ugly and mean and harsh and unkind and angry as you want to be. Yeah. Or you can be kind and good and full of joy and full of peace. It is a choice. Amen. It the is. bad That's stuff right. happens to everybody. It's not always easy for anybody. We've all been through persecution. We've all been through heartache and pain of different kinds. Mm -hmm. We've all been through loneliness and rejection. We've all been lied to and lied about. Mm -hmm. There is no way to avoid those things, people. This is not heaven. And yeah. today, this is Utah. But yeah. wherever you are, there's no way to get away from being tested and tried. Right. But the bottom line is, if you want to, you can bless the Lord at all times. It's your mouth, it's your heart, and it's your mind. Mm -hmm. His praise shall continually, continually be in my mouth. I've made that decision. It's my mouth, now I'm going to fill it with praise of God. Mm -hmm. My life makes its boast in the Lord, King David said. And by the way, this is, this is why God made him a man <laughs> after God's own heart. Yeah, that's right. My life makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble afflicted hear and, and be, be glad. glad. When I boast yeah. in the Lord, I'm not boasting in me. No, I didn't earn right. anything. I didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. I'm nobody. 
I'm boasting in, in how good Lord. God is. Yes. And if I have anything, that means you can have it. Yeah, yeah. The Bible says, if I've been healed, let the humble and afflicted hear and be glad, glad mm -hmm. and magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name forever. Together. Amen. I want you to know that he'll do it for you. If he yeah, healed yeah. me and forgave me mm. and healed our marriage or yes, whatever, yes. he will do it for you That's it. if you give him a chance. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name forever. Together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. And then here's my favorite verse 8. Oh, taste and see the, that Lord, the Lord is, is good. good. Yeah. And blessed is the man who trusts in him. That's it. I see sneaking I up see on me. I up. see who's coming to here. Look, the got... ultimate yes. directors and producers of so many yes. of God's best TV shows. <laughs> Matthew and Mary Kurt, Kurt yes. are the best. <laughs> and they are yeah. they stay behind yeah. the scene. Yeah. I can't get Matthew to preach, you know, <laughs> because this is his yeah. ministry. Yeah. This is what he knows he's anointed to do. He and does it yeah. better than anybody. And and Miss Mary, I don't yeah. know what we'd do without you. <laughs> no, we love them. Us so and much. Telling us and keeping us organized. Yeah. You want to share anything? I'm just blessed and honored to be a part of this and what the Lord's doing in these last days. Amen. And this message of joy today, man, mm -hmm. if you get a hold of that, mm -hmm. it says the joy of the Lord is your strength. strength. That's it. So wherever you need strength mm -hmm. in your life today, let His joy speak to you and bring Amen. you up to that place and so let Him be great. your stronghold. Yes. Come on, Hallelujah. girl. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. These Amen. guys produce a lot of stuff from K Kenneth USC Copeland Ministries. Eagle Mountain. K mm -hmm. Eagle Mountain International Church, Pastor mm -hmm. George and Terry <laughs> Pearson, our, right. our pastors, all of our pastors. So, man, we just uh, love them. We enjoy serving God with these guys. Yes, we and love again, them. Again, that's what we're Amen. talking about. Amen. We love, hey, love y'all. <laughs> It says in Philippians 4, rejoice in the Lord always. And then God says it again. Again, I say rejoice. James 1 and 2 says, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials or tests, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. That's the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And then I'm going to close with this. Be happy Be in your happy faith. Be happy in this your faith. This is 1 Thessalonians 5 That's and good. 16. Mm -hmm. I be like happy it. in your faith and rejoice and be glad hearted always. Always. Well, yeah, man, that's good. we love you and we're believing God with you for the joy of the Lord to make you strong, mm -hmm. to build you up. Yes. We're praying that God will strengthen you in the inner man. That's what I pray for myself every day. Mm -hmm. It's 73. I'm doing 1,200 miles on a motorcycle this week. <laughs> yeah. If it rains, it rains. If a bug hits me, a bug hits me. Oh. But praise God, it's 73. I can get out yeah, on my Harley with my friends and go have some fun and mm -hmm. serve God together. Amen. So I need the joy of the Lord to keep me strong. Mm -hmm. I need the peace of God that yeah. passes understanding. And you do too. Yeah. So man, whatever you're doing, wherever you're going, whatever's going on in your life, keep the joy of the Lord strong in yeah. you and you'll be strong until we see you again. Yeah. I'll be praying for you. And in the meantime, don't forget to stay on, on the, the road, road to, to freedom. freedom. Church on the Run, a 365-day video devotional. Join Mylon and Christy Lefevre, along with some of your favorite gospel and contemporary Christian artists and ministers from some of the most beautiful and interesting places in the world. The encouragement from God's Word you need is available daily on our Facebook, YouTube, and website. Get the Mylon.org app and watch on your iPad, iPhone, or Android. Church on the Run, a fast, easy, and fun way to build your faith 365 days a year. Go to Mylan.org to subscribe today.